Oh my gosh, guys. Today is going to be an interesting video today for you guys. Hope you guys are excited for this video because I am. What is up, guys? Welcome back, guys, to my channel, guys. My, it's your boy, Ninja here. Welcome back, guys, to a brand new video here on the channel today. Today, guys, I have to talk about this because there's a lot of things going around in the past few days, and there has been a lot of you, and now there has been a lot, in the past few weeks and months, uh, they have, we, again, we do have a lot going on today, so, yeah. I just want to say, Happy April 1st, guys. It's already the first day of April, and I can't believe we are already in April, already. but yeah. But today, guys, uh, but yeah. So before we start up with this video, guys, if you do enjoy this video, make sure you guys go down below. Hit that like button down below. That will tell YouTube that this is a great video. So please, guys, if you do enjoy this video, please, guys, hit that subscribe button down below. So yeah like button so yeah also guys hit that subscribe button down below guys i'm on the road to 1200 subscribers i want to hit that by the end of april so we only got only that so we only got 29 days left so please guys make sure you guys go down below hit that subscribe button down below so yeah also guys hit that notification bell to never miss when i upload a video also guys share this video with your friends so yeah Today, guys, we are talking about Spider-Man, and we got a lot going around all over Spider-Man right now, so yeah. Forget, guys, just forget everything up in the middle, right? Those are not the official titles for the new Tom Holland's trilogy, but yeah, but of course I went to use it, so yeah. So, let's start up with the first news talking about... The biggest announcement that was in the past, that has been announced like yesterday. I think it was yesterday. Oh, I don't remember. But yeah, but Sony confirms, Sony officially confirms that Andrew Garfield will get a Amazing Spider-Man 3. And the set date, and the set, like the set date of when Spider-Man, when the Amazing Spider-Man 3 would be released would be July 2024. So that's just two years away. So guys, I'm so excited, guys. I'm not really a big... I, I wasn't really a huge fan of the last two movies, but I love Andrew Garfield. Like, he is... Like, I love Andrew Garfield's Spider-Man, but I didn't really like the movies because they're just a little bit different, and I love him so much in Spider-Man No Way Home. So, yeah, and now he's coming back for the third film. I'm so excited. So, yeah, I want to talk about a little bit about the Amazing Spider-Man 3. And I want to talk about what do I want to see in the, the Amazing Spider-Man 3. What I, really, what I really want to see in the Amazing Spider-Man 3 is I want, I want Andrew Garfield to be like like a darker Spider-Man, like, like we have heard the rumor, the, we have heard reports that say that Tom Hardy's Venom will be in The Amazing Spider-Man 3, or Mobius, because Mo if you guys don't know guys, Mobius just came out today, so, yeah, but maybe Mobius, maybe, uh, Venom, I don't really know, but, but, I don't think it's gonna be, I think what's gonna happen is, this is the Amazing Spider-Man 3 is probably going to be part 2. It will be taking place right after Phantom 3. Because I feel like Phantom 3 will have Andrew Garfield's Spider-Man in that film. And I think uh, Spider-Man, I think right now, I think Andy Circus is right now working on the, the Spider-Man, th the Phantom 3 script. He's probably already working on the script right now, like, like the producers of Phantom that to be Carnage is right now doing all this stuff, and they're trying to get Andrew Garfield to be in the film. And I think what so happen in the Phantom 3 post credit scene, what I really, what I really want to see in this film, what I really, what I really want to see in this in the Phantom 3 post credit scene is Phantom sending his 
it's just gonna be like Spider-Man No Way Home. Like, like Venom is very mad at Spider-Man that he really wants to take some of his uh, Venom symbiote and put it on Andrew Garfield because Andrew Garfield defeated uh, Venom in this film, but he didn't like kill him up because you can't really kill Venom because he's a symbiote. Well, the, I, the only way to do the only way to kill a symbiote is if you have loud sounds or whatever, like whatever. That's what happened in Spider-Man Three with Tobey Maguire. So, yeah, I really want uh, Andrew Garfield to be like the black suit because Tobey Maguire already has been in the black suit. Tom Holland will be in Spider-Man Four, but Andrew Garfield he has not yet. And and the Amazing Spider-Man is like the darkest Spider-Man. Like that's like the that's like the darkest Spider-Man trilogy ever. So what do I want to see? So I really want to so what I really want to see is the Amazing Spider-Man 3 and Venom 3 to tie into each other. Like Venom 3 came first, comes first. We have heard that Venom 3 will be released next year. And then you have, of course, The Amazing Spider-Man the, the Amazing Spider-Man 3 with Andrew Garfield uh, in July 2024. And yeah, so I just really want to see... Uh, I just wanted to see... I just want to go... I just want to see Andrew Garfield turn it into the black Spider-Man, like, to be, like, not black like Miles, Miles Morales, but black like... Tommy McGraw was there. Like, he became the dark Spider-Man. He became a Bowie. And I feel like Andrew Garfield should be like that. Like, Andrew Garfield should be like... Because he's the darkest Spider-Man. So, make him as the darkest... Like, make him as, like, the darkest, like, uh... Spider-Man. Like, he goes on a rampage and he just... Bowie everybody. He just kill a few people. He just do all of that. Uh, and, yeah. But would that but it would be amazing if Gwen Stacy was in the Amazing Spider-Man 3, but as Spider Gwen. That would be pretty cool. Like we see Spider Gwen in this in the Amazing Spider-Man 3. And then afterwards she get a, her own solo movie. And of course Emma Stone will be returning. Because Emma Stone said that she wants to return. I know she has a child now, she has a baby now, and of course, uh, yeah, but that doesn't, that's not a problem about that, but yeah, but I just really want the Amazing Spider, I, I really want the Amazing Spider-Man 3 to be better than uh, the Amazing Spider-Man and the Amazing Spider-Man 2, because the first Amazing Spider-Man is my least favorite because it's just, for me, it just feels like it just feels like they did uh, Spider-Man 1 from, with Tobey Maguire with Andrew Garfield again. Instead of uh, using Green Goblin, they, they used the Lizard. It's just, the Amazing Spider-Man at the first one is just weird. It's just a weird movie and I didn't really like it too much. It's, it's okay. It's like, it's okay. I, for me, I like the Amazing Spider-Man 2 because I love Electro. I can't... But yeah, but I know there's a lot of problems, but that was still a good movie. I want The Amazing Spider-Man 3 to be amazing. I really want the third film to be amazing. And yeah, that's all I kind of got have with The Amazing Spider-Man 3. If I, if I predict a release date of The Amazing Spider-Man 3, if I predict it, let me see if I can go to my calendar and then go to... Uh, July 2024. Just a second, guys. Okay, uh, let's see here. Let's see here. Uh, so, if we think about release dates ideas for the Amazing Spider Man 3, we have July 5th, July 12th, July 19th, or July 26th. What are those for? I'm gonna say it's probably gonna be July 12th or July 19th. What are the two for the Amazing Spider-Man 3? I don't know what's going on, but yeah, but of course, 
I just so excited that the Amazing Spider-Man 3 is officially confirmed and it is coming in 2024. I mean 2024, so yeah. That would be it for Andrew Garfield. He will probably be returning in one of the top horror movies in the next trailer trip, so yeah. Or maybe a maybe show up in other movies, so yeah. Now let's talk about Toby McGuire's Spider-Man 4. Because we have some announcements. We it's not confirmed. This is not confirmed, you know, this is not confirmed. But some of the Marvel creators, some of the Marvel creators and producers, like some like a lot so the Marvel producers really what uh, like they really really what so maybe to direct Spider-Man 4 with Toby McGuire. The Marvel Studios, like Marvel, Sony, Ma like Marvel Studios, because with Toby McGuire's Spider-Man returning in No Way Home, and now No Way Home is coming right now. Let me see here. Let me check out this. Just a sec, guys. Like, Spider-Man No Way Home is, right now, 1,889,137,350 right now at the box office. And it did an extra 1 million in the United States. Pretty good, though. And yeah. And Spider-Man No Way Home is probably going to end up with uh, 1 one point nine billion dollars, and that would be amazing because Spider-Man: No Way Home it was so close to two billion dollars, and yeah, and uh, the producers are No Way Home uh, really want Sam Raimi to direct Spider-Man Four. So my question is: Is Spider-Man Four confirmed? Well, yes, Spider-Man 4 with Tobey Maguire is coming, uh, and this is the officially confirmed, but Spider-Man 4 with Tobey Maguire could be amazing, directed by Sam Raimi would be amazing. Uh, it could be possible that we could get two more extra Tobey Maguire movies. We could get six Tobey Maguire movies, uh, Spider-Man movies. Like, the fourth one being, uh, the question about this is, is Spider-Man 4 going to take place before No Way Home or after No Way Home? Because Tobey Maguire did have some lines uh, in uh, No Way Home saying that, hey, uh, uh, maybe, like, spell a lot if you haven't seen the Spider-Man No Way Home yet. If you haven't seen it yet, then click at the video now. But if you don't want, but if you don't care, uh, it's okay with that, so yeah. But Spider-Man 4, so Spider-Man, so Toby McGuire, he did say in No Way Home, he did say that him and his relationship against Mary Jane Watson has been complicated. Like, has been like, it was, like, the way he did say that, and, yeah, so, that's what he said, and also he did say something like, hey, you grew up, uh, like how, like, uh, like he say, I'm trying to do better, so, my question is, does Spider-Man, is it, it like, it's so weird because uh, Spider-Man No Way Home took place, uh, no, it didn't took place, but it was released like 15 years after Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man 3. So, I feel like what they could do is Spider-Man 4 takes place before Spider-Man No Way Home, takes place like 10 years later, I mean, after Spider-Man 3, and then in Spider-Man 4, we get the wedding of Tobey Maguire and Peter Parker in Kilts and Dutts as Mary Jane Watson, and that would be amazing. Of course, uh, Mary Jane is going to dye her hair the same color as before. Because, see, a blonde, like, whatever, I don't know what's gonna happen, but yeah, but Spider-Man 4, it's gonna happen. I'm gonna say, it's gonna happen. I could see this movie be released in 2025. 
So this just gonna, I think they're gonna just jam Spider-Man movies together, like 2024, The Amazing Spider-Man 3, 2025, Spider-Man 4, with Tobey Maguire, and 2026, with Spider-Man 4, with t t Tom Holland. Because I feel like uh, when Tom Holland is taking a break, they didn't have another Spider-Man movie coming out. That is The Amazing Spider-Man 3 in Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man 4. Now, I could see... And what, what, so, what do I mean about uh, Spider-Man 5 and 6 with Tobey Maguire? Well, the idea I have is Spider-Man 4 would take place after... Spider-Man 3, and we're gonna get the red in uh, Peter Parker and Mary Jane, we get the red in we get a new film in old, new, old, old film in because it takes place in the multiverse, we could get a different Fortune, we could get Kidpin, we could get Scorpion, we could do, like, they could do, like, oh, they could bring back some old films, like, like, bring, but like, like, bring in some other films, like, what is Toby Maguire's on that show? Like, people have been wondering about that. It, it would be pretty cool just to do that with Spider-Man 4. Because I feel like uh, they should do something like that. And yeah, Spider-Man 5 uh, would take place 10 years after Spider-Man 4. Like, we see a little bit more of him, like, get a little bit more older. You can see him like, get a little bit older. Uh, and yeah, that would be pretty cool. Another favorite. Uh, and yeah. And then Spider-Man 6 takes place right after No Way Home. That's pretty much a good idea, I'm gonna say that. Oh, Spider-Man 4 is just gonna take place after No Way Home. But I feel like Spider-Man 4 should take place in No Way Home because... Doc Ock, uh, Doc Ock, he said, uh, oh boy, like Peter. You all grew up. You grew up. You grew up. Like, he grew up like 30 years later. So, my question is, uh, isn't it possible that uh, Spider-Man 4 does take place before No Way Home? Because everybody, because in No Way Home, he has been talking about a lot of things. Uh, and yeah, I don't know, before or after No Way Home, before No Way Home, after No Way Home, I have no idea. But I'm really hoping we get another Toby Maguire trilogy, because I would love to see more Toby Maguire. Also, Toby Maguire said to himself in an interview, I don't remember what this interview was from, but he did an interview saying that, uh, hey, I, hey, I'm, I'm okay, like, hey, like, I would like to come back as Spider-Man. I would like to come back to the character. And I have, mostly, it's time for me to come back as Spider-Man. So, I know Tobey Maguire is, like, over 40 years old. He's 47, I believe, right now. I think he's, no, I think he's 46. And he will be turning 47 next year? Or this year? I don't know, is he 47 or is he 50? Is he 47? Is Toby McGuire 47? Let me see. He's 46. And he will be 47 on June 24th. June 27th. So he will be turning 47 years old this year. So. Toby McGraw play as Spider-Man when he's in his 50s. Like we have a bunch of, because if you don't know guys, I think Toby McGraw, I think Spider-Man in Spider-Man Into the Spider-Force, the, the Peter Parker, I think he was like around over his 40s to 50s. Somewhere around like there, so yeah. Spider-Man 4 with Toby McGraw, 100% gonna happen. Sam Raimi is gonna direct that film right, like Sony, like, I think, Say so Raimi's next film, he's going to be directed uh, right after uh, Spider-Man, uh, after Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, would be Spider-Man 4 with Tobey Maguire. Because if Tobey Maguire does make a cameo in 
Doctor Strange 2, that means that people could be excited that there was Spider-Man 4 coming up. We got more Toby McGuire Spider-Man. That would be amazing. Uh, like, if we do get another Toby McGuire trilogy, I would love that a lot, but I don't think it's going to happen. I think Spider-Man 4 would probably be Toby McGuire's final Spider-Man film in the quadrillion, like, quadrilogy, whatever you call it, in the yeah. And I think Andrew Garfield could get one more Amazing Spider-Man film uh, to make it like the Amazing Spider-Man 4 to make it even with Tobey Maguire's. And then uh, Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield returns to one, of, one or two of the new Spider-Man movies. So yeah. Now of course I would love to see Spider-Man 4. And yeah. So yeah. And now we head to... Uh, Tom Holland. Now, you guys forget all of the uh, names uh, right now because all those names are not confirmed. I would like to see Spider-Man Home Invasion. Like, Home Invasion. That kind of feels pretty much unlike the fourth one is going to be because I have an idea of what the fourth one is going to be. So, yeah. So what I said before with Andrew Garfield, what he is, what I said before about Tom Holland getting the Phantom Symbiote, well, that's what he's going to be doing in Spider-Man 4. But, the feeling of, who is going to be the feeling of Spider-Man 4? A few people say it's going to be Phantom, not Tom Hardy's Phantom, a totally different Eddie Brock, like the MCU version of Eddie, Eddie Brock, or... They might use Craven the Hunter, like uh, Spider-Man's in his Phantom suit, like his symbiote suit, finding Craven the Hunter. This could be uh, Kidpin. I'm not going to say it's Kidpin, but it could also be Scorpion. We could get the return of Virtue. We could get the return of uh, him. Michael Keaton's photo. I don't really know, but yeah, but I'm gonna say I love a big film idea who could be becoming, who could be the film of Spider-Man 4 being low. Now, no is like the symbiote god. Like, if I remember how no works, no's, no works, he's like the film, like he's like the symbiote god, and I feel like that's the perfect way to bring back Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield in like the end of the movie like mostly like mostly like this next Spider-Man movie could just mostly be Tobey, Andrew and Tom like this could be a fusory Spider-Man into the multiverse in some way but I'm gonna say Spider-Man home invasion makes a lot of sense because invasion means danger like Invasion uh, kind of means danger in some ways, like Spider-Man Home Danger, like, or you could say Spider-Man Home Alone, but you can't use Home Alone because that's copyrighted. So yeah, Home Sweet Home, they can't do that because yeah, Home Safe, Spider-Man is not safe. And yeah, whatever happens, I don't know, I have no idea that's going to happen, but I feel like Spider-Man 4, let me talk about the feelings that I feel like will be in these three Spider-Man movies. The first one being No from Spider-Man 4, with Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield teaming up with him. Probably might get Miles Morales in this movie. I'm going to say we're going to get Miles Morales Spider-Man. He'll be teaming up with Andrew Garfield and Tobey Maguire Spider-Man. Like, Mario's Morales will be teaming up with Tobey Maguire, Andrew Garfield, and, Spy and Tom Holland Spider-Man. Like, the one to say is Tobey Maguire Spider-Man, Andrew Garfield Spider-Man, Tom Holland Spider-Man, and Mario's Morales. Because we have confirmed that I think it's Will Smith's son who's going to be playing the Mario's Morales. I don't remember, but yeah. But if we see him in that movie... Do you know how crazy the crowd is going to be if you see Tobey Maguire, Andrew Garfield, and Miles Morales in Spider-Man 4 with Tom Holland? That would be amazing, and I'm really hoping they could do that. And I'm really hoping that is an amazing idea. So, 
Yeah. And then you have Spider-Man 5. Now, what I feel like is going to happen is... Now, this is going to be strange. I feel like Spider-Man 4 will have three villains. I feel like it's going to happen. I feel like... I feel... No. I feel like Spider-Man 4 will only be one villain appear. No, because it makes a lot of sense because... Tom Howe is going to get the Phantom symbiote suit on him. That makes a lot of sense. But Spider-Man 5 will have uh, a lot of villains. I'm going to say Tom Howe, uh, I'm going to say in Spider-Man 5, uh, because we have how Daredevil is coming back. We have how Daredevil is going to a season 4, because that has been confirmed that a uh, Daredevil reboot is coming up. Like a Daredevil reboot happening, it could be uh, Daredevil season of four, or a brand new uh, Daredevil show to be TV for Tina. Oh, oh, Disney's gonna think about doing TV MA shows on Disney Plus. That's gonna be weird, and yeah, like TV matured, and yeah. But of course, uh, Spider Man Five, we are gonna get Tom Holland. Uh, it's gonna be so. <sighs> this is going to be really hard because Tom Howard needs to be... Okay, okay. Here's what I feel like going to happen, okay? Spider-Man 5 is going to be only with Tom Howard. So Tom Howard will only be in Spider-Man 5. And in Spider-Man 5... Uh, well, uh, maybe, just maybe you can see Daredevil in Spider-Man 4. Probably like could be probably happening. Like we have the team we have a team up against Toby McGraw Spider-Man, Andrew Garfield Spider-Man, Tom Holland Spider-Man, Will Smith's son as uh, Mario Morales. That's not confirmed. That's not been officially confirmed yet, but yeah. And Charlie Cox is Daredevil because we saw Charlie Cox in Spider-Man No Way Home in No Way Home. So it's a good idea to bring him back for Spider-Man 4. That's pretty much a pretty good idea. Like Daredevil gets his Daredevil gets his project first and then in Spider-Man 4. And that's to me, I think Spider-Man 4 will be releasing in 2026 because I feel like Tom Holland wants to take a long break. Uh take it a long break as Peter Parker and I think the Amazing Spider-Man 3 and Spider-Man 4 uh, will probably uh, like Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man 4 and Andrew Garfield's The Amazing Spider-Man 3 is probably going to take the Spider-Man uh, character and these are going to be the next two Spider-Man movies the live action movies right before uh, Spider-Man 4 with Tom Holland and yeah. Now going to now of course going to Spider-Man 5 it's gonna be him by himself uh, and Spider-Man 5 will be getting a lot of villains. The first one being Craven the Hunter. Because uh Craven the Hunter it's been confirmed that Craven the Hunter will be an MCU villain. And it's gonna be played by Aaron Taylor Johnson, uh, so that's gonna be pretty good. So yeah. The second villain being Scorpion, we could be seeing Tom Holland by himself fighting a Scorpion and Craven the Hunter and Kingpin. So Spider-Man has to face three villains. And I feel like those three villains is like the perfect... So yeah, we could get Chameleon, Chameleon as like a short, like a sidekick villain, like a sidekick villain. I'm like Kilpin or something like that. I don't really know, but I feel like Kilpin. Oh, you can't use Kilpin because that's good. Well, you can use Kilpin, but you have to have Daredevil in that movie. No, you don't. You don't need to. Like three villains would be amazing. So yeah. And then Spider-Man Six would probably be another Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield team up. And this right here is gonna be the official Sinatra 6. And this could in fact happen for a lot of people. Or maybe just maybe this could be the feeling of people. Or maybe just maybe Spider-Man 6 might be with Kingpin with Daredevil. Probably. And then uh, 
probably, I don't know, but we also had to get the official signature six into a Spider-Man movie. So I'm gonna say the signature, so I'm gonna say the, uh, the signature six that Sony is making uh, with, of course, Mobius and Venom and Virtua. I think what they're gonna do is gonna be, so we always have, so, so the feelings we always have uh, in Spider-Man No Way Home are uh, Green Goblin, Dark Gark, Sandman, Electro, and the Lizard. Now, we have of course the next one. Now, the next one, now we have to have six. So the six are going to be Mobius, Phantom, we have Mobius, Phantom, Fortra, because Fortra is only in the MCU, but, yeah, uh, Craven the Hunter, uh, I think uh, the next round of that is, I don't know what they're going to plan, but I would love to see the return of, uh, like, I would love Spider-Man 6 to be, like, the biggest Spider-Man movie ever, much more bigger then Spider-Man No Way Home in Spider-Man 4 with no question mark if they are going to use that storyline in the comics. And yeah, and, uh, and Spider-Man 6 could be the biggest one. Spider-Man 5 is not going to be too big uh, because we're going to just have Tom Holland by himself. We're going to get Tom Holland by himself fighting uh, Craven the Hunter in Scorpion. So... Yeah, that's probably gonna happen. So yeah, I would love to see Spider-Man Six bring it back. Uh, I would love to see Spider-Man Six bring it back. Uh, Where the first Green Goblin, uh, Doc Ock from uh, yeah, uh, uh, what was it again? Uh, Alfred Molina's Doc Ock, Thomas Hayden Church as Sandman. The actor who plays the lizard, we get, of course, the actor who plays, we get Chippy Fox's Electro, and we get the actor who plays Rhino, we get, of course, we get, of course, Michael Keaton's Furcho, we got Michael Keaton's Furcho, uh, Jake Kipolat, Jake Kipolat's last name as Mysterio, uh, Mobius, Craven the Hunter, so I don't feel like Craven the Hunter and the Scorpion will be dead in Spider-Man 5, but take it to prison, and then they come back into the next film. Probably is gonna probably happen, and yeah, and then Chameleon, uh, Tom Hardy's Phantom, like, that would be so amazing getting these villains together, and then we can have a whole entire Spider-Man into the spider and like a live action Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse movie with Tobey Maguire Spider-Man, Andrew Garfield Spider-Man, Tom Holland Spider-Man, Miles Morales, Spider-Gwen, Spider-Man 2099, Scarlet Spider, Iron Spider, uh, Age of Venom, like, it's so much more that the MCU could do. Like, there's a lot more. So, yeah. And that's kind of like it I want to talk about in this video because there's not a lot of other things to talk about in this trilogy. Into this next Spider-Man trilogy. The Amazing Spider-Man... Okay, backtrack. The Amazing Spider-Man 3, I want to see it as Andrew Garfield uh, having the black symbiote suit to be like he fights Venom. Spider-Man 4, I want to see Spider-Man 4 with Tobey Maguire. I wanted to see it like his future, like his wedding with uh, Mary Jane Watson. And of course, uh, get a new feeling. I would like to see another trilogy. Of, uh, I would like to. I would like to see that. Spider-Man 4 with Tom, with Tom Holland. I would want it to be the three Spider-Man with the three Spider-Man. With, uh, with, uh, Miles Morales and Daredevil, and we could see Lowe and Kingpin be the feeling of 
Spider-Man 4, we could also see Phantom in that film as well. So three films, no Phantom in Kingpin. So that's why don't, that's why Charlie Cox is still there going to be in that film. Spider-Man 5 is just going to be with Tom Holland, and it's going to be defeated Quaver the Hunter, Hopgobber, because I forgot Ned is, of course, Hopgobber in the comics, Hopgobber and Scorpion. Spider-Man 6 would be a full-on Spider-Man team-up movie, feeling be the, like all the Spider-Man films ever made in the comics into one big Marvel movie. To be like Spider-Man, like, it's like an Avengers movie, like a Spider-Man Avengers movie. So yeah, so yeah. So guys, if you do enjoy this video, make sure you guys go down below, hit that like button down below, and hit that like button if you are excited for The Amazing Spider-Man 3, and are you excited for Spider-Man 4 with Tobey Maguire, if it gets 100% confirmed by Sony, and uh, are you excited for the next Tom Holland trilogy? Just let me know, so yeah. Hit that like button. I'm really excited for The Amazing Spider-Man 3. Tobey Maguire, Spider-Man 4. Like, these next upcoming Spider-Man movies, I'm so excited for. If I see the one I'm most excited for the most, I'm going to say The Amazing Spider-Man 3 because I just felt deep, like, I just felt a little bit more like, like, when I see Spider-Man No Way Home in the theater, I was like, I feel like I just felt sad. I just was screaming at Andrew Garfield. I was like, I cried, I cried because uh, Andrew Garfield did an amazing job, I just, I love his job, and I would love to see his third film. I'm also excited for Spider-Man 4 with Tom, I'm also excited for Spider-Man 4 with Tobey Maguire, but, I have, but I'm not really too excited for it because I don't know what they are going to do, I don't know what Sam Raimi is going to do with the film. But yeah, but the next Spider-Man trilogy, I'm really excited because we could see two films with Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield with Tom Holland. The fourth one and the sixth one. Because I feel like the fifth one could just be by himself. So yeah. I'm very excited, so yeah. Also guys, if you do also guys if you if you do enjoy this video, also guys hit that subscribe button down below. I'm about to work to 2,000, I'm about to work to 1,200 subscribers. I want to hit that by the end of the year. So please, guys, if you do enjoy this video, make sure you guys go down below. Hit that subscribe button down below. So yeah. Also, guys, hit that notification bell to never miss when I upload a video, a news video. So yeah. Also, guys, share this, share this video with your friends. So yeah. And yeah. Stay tuned, guys, because uh, I will let you guys know if Spider-Man 4 with Tom, Tobey Maguire is officially confirmed. And I will let you guys know about more Spider-Man, so yeah. And of course, guys, if you guys can go watch Mobius today, then make sure you do it. Because I have heard a lot of people say it is one of the worst Marvel movies ever made. Like, whatever. So yeah. So yeah. So guys, don't forget, guys, to go down below. Hit that subscribe button down below to join the Ninja Nation Army, and we will see you guys inside the next one. See you guys next time. Bye. Ninja out. Peace. And one more thing, guys, make sure you guys go down below and double check if you hit that like button, double check if you hit that subscribe button, and double check if you hit that notification bell, and all this stuff. So, yeah, and stick around, guys. Go check out more of my other videos. If you like this video, then you, then you might like the other videos. And I will see my Spider-Man fans next time. Peace.